Lily loved rain. She loved the sound of raindrops. She loved the smell of wet grass. Most of all, she loved to dance in the rain. One day the sky grew dark. Gray clouds filled the air. Lily's heart beat faster. Rain was coming. Lily ran to the window. Big, fat raindrops started to fall. Yay, she shouted. It's raining, it's raining. Lily's mom smiled. Go on then, she said. Put on your boots and raincoat. Have fun dancing in the rain, but stay safe. Lily threw on her boots and raincoat. She raced outside, ready for an adventure. Raindrops splashed on Lily's nose. They tickled. The world looked different in the rain. Everything sparkled. Lily saw a trail of shimmering raindrops. It led into the woods behind her house. Wow, she whispered. A magic rain trail. Lily couldn't resist. She skipped down the path eager to see where it would lead. The air smelled fresh and clean. Birds chirped happily in the trees. Lily felt like she was in a magical world. Lily giggled. She had a feeling this was going to be the best rainy day ever. The rain sang a soft song as it fell on the leaves above Lily's head. Each drop seemed to carry a note of a melody only the forest could understand, creating a symphony that was both soothing and mysterious. The wind rustled through the branches, making the trees seem like they were whispering secrets to each other. It was as if the forest was alive, sharing ancient tales and forgotten legends with those who cared to listen. Lily whispered a voice. It was soft, almost like a gentle breeze, but distinct enough to make her stop in her tracks. Lily stopped and looked around. Her eyes scanned the dense foliage, searching for the source of the mysterious voice. The forest seemed to hold its breath, waiting for her next move. A plump squirrel perched on a branch, looking down at her with bright, curious eyes. Its fur was slightly damp from the rain, but its eyes sparkled with mischief and intelligence. Did you talk? Lily asked in surprise. She had always imagined animals could talk, but hearing it was a different kind of magic altogether. The squirrel nodded his head up and down. His movements were quick and lively as if he was excited to finally have someone to talk to. Of course we always talk in the rain. It makes our voices extra clear, you see. The rain acts like a conductor, amplifying our words and making them resonate through the forest. Lily giggled. This was even more magical than she imagined. She felt like she had stepped into one of her favorite fairy tales, where the impossible became possible. Where does this trail lead? She asked the squirrel. Her curiosity was piqued, and she felt a sense of adventure bubbling inside her. To the most magical place in the forest, he chirped. His voice was filled with excitement, as if he was about to share a wonderful secret. Follow me. And with a flick of his bushy tail, he scampered down the path. Lily felt a thrill of anticipation as she hurried after him, eager to discover the wonders that lay ahead. Lily followed the squirrel deeper into the woods. The rain began to fall softer now, more like a gentle mist. Finally, they arrived at a clearing in the middle of the clearing was a small, perfectly round pond. Lily gasped. The pond shimmered in the sunlight, 
which was now peeking through the clouds. Tiny lily pads floated on the water, each one holding a perfect, sparkling raindrop. Wow, Lily whispered. It's beautiful. This place felt different, special. It was like something out of a fairy tale. Welcome to our secret pond, croaked a voice. Lily looked down. Sitting on a lily pad, right at the edge of the water, was a bright green frog. Hello, said Lily timidly. She wasn't scared of frogs, but this one seemed a little different. Wiser, maybe. You must be Lily, the frog croaked. We've been expecting you. He blinked his big, bulgy eyes at her. Lily's eyes widened. Expecting me? How did you know I was coming? The frog smiled, showing off his long, sticky tongue. We have our ways, he said mysteriously. Now, why don't you come a little closer? I have something important to show you. Lily cautiously stepped closer to the pond. She had always been curious about the little pond at the edge of the forest. Today she felt a strange pull, as if something magical was waiting for her. The frog patted the lily pad next to him, inviting her to join him. His eyes sparkled with a secret that only he knew. With a giggle, Lily sat down on the lily pad. She had never sat on a lily pad before, and it felt like sitting on a soft, floating cushion. It wobbled a little, but it held her weight. She felt a mix of excitement and nervousness, wondering what would happen next. My name is Freddy, the frog said, his voice gentle and kind. Lily was amazed that a frog could talk, and this he gestured around them with one of his long webbed fingers is where the magic of rain comes to life. He spoke with such reverence that Lily felt she was in a special place. Really? Lily asked her eyes wide with wonder. Freddy nodded, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. The rain does more than just make things wet, you know. It has a purpose, a role in the grand scheme of nature. It brings life to the forest. Every drop is a gift that nourishes the plants and animals. Lily looked around at the lush, Green ferns, their leaves glistening with raindrops. She had never noticed how vibrant and alive they looked after the rain. The colorful mushrooms peeking out from under fallen logs, their caps shining like little jewels. Each one seemed to tell a story of growth and renewal, and the happy animals playing in the newly formed puddles. They splashed and frolicked, celebrating the rain, as if it were a festival. She was starting to understand. The rain was not just water falling from the sky, it was a lifeline, a source of joy and sustenance for the entire forest. Lily felt a deep connection to the world around her, a sense of belonging she had never felt before. Listen, Freddy whispered. Lily closed her eyes and listened closely. At first, all she could hear was the gentle pitter-patter of raindrops, but as she listened more closely, she started to hear other sounds. The rustle of leaves sounded like a thousand tiny whispers. The chirping of crickets became a rhythmic beat. 
the croaking of frogs, the chirping of birds, the buzzing of insects, all these sounds blended together, creating a beautiful melody. It's like a song, Lily whispered. Freddy nodded. The rain cloud symphony, he said. Every raindrop, every rustle of leaves, every chirp and croak is a part of it, and together they make the world come alive. Lily opened her eyes and smiled. She understood now. The rain wasn't just water falling from the sky. It was magic. It was life. Come on, Lily, Freddy croaked, hopping off his lily pad. Let's dance with the raindrops. Lily and Freddy danced and splashed in the puddles. They twirled and giggled as the rain fell gently around them. Lily felt happier than she ever had before. She had discovered the magic of rain, and she would never look at a rainy day the same way again. Suddenly, the rain stopped. The clouds parted, and a warm ray of sunshine broke through, shining down on the forest. Look. Lily cried, pointing to the sky. A beautiful rainbow arched across the sky. It was the most vibrant rainbow Lily had ever seen. It was like the sky was celebrating the end of the rain with a burst of color. Wow, Lily breathed. She had never seen a rainbow this beautiful before. Freddy smiled. The rain may be gone for now, Lily, he said. But its magic will always be here. Lily hugged Freddy goodbye and thanked him for showing her the magic of rain. She felt a deep sense of gratitude for the little frog who had opened her eyes to a world she had never truly noticed before. The rain which once seemed like a mere inconvenience, now felt like a gentle symphony orchestrated by nature itself. She promised to visit him again soon. Freddy croaked happily, as if understanding her promise, and hopped back into the garden, disappearing among the lush, wet leaves. Lily waved one last time, her heart brimming, with joy and a newfound appreciation for the simple wonders around her. As Lily walked back home, the world seemed different. The rain, which she once hurried through, now felt like a gentle embrace. She noticed the way the raindrops danced on the pavement, creating tiny ripples that spread out, like whispers of nature's secrets. She saw the beauty in every raindrop, every leaf, every puddle. Each droplet seemed to carry a story, each leaf a canvas, painted with the hues of life. She splashed in puddles, feeling the cool water on her feet, and laughed as the rain kissed her cheeks. She heard the music in the rustling leaves and the chirping birds. The world was alive with sounds she had never paid attention to before. The rustling leaves sounded like a gentle lullaby, and the birds' chirps were like cheerful notes in a song that celebrated the rain. When she got home, Lily told her mom all about her adventure. She described every detail with excitement, from the moment she met Freddy to the magical rain that transformed her day. Her mom listened intently, her eyes twinkling with delight at Lily's animated storytelling. She told her, about Freddy the Frog and the Rain Cloud Symphony. Lily's mom smiled. She could see how much this experience had meant to her daughter. The way Lily's eyes sparkled as she spoke was proof of the magic she had discovered. It sounds like you had a magical day, she said. Her mom's words were filled 
with warmth and understanding. She knew that this was a day Lily would remember for a long time, a day that had changed the way she saw the world. And now, she added, winking at Lily, how about we have some warm cookies and milk while we listen to the rain one last time? They sat together, enjoying the sweet treats and the soothing sound of the rain outside. It was the perfect end to a perfect day. A day filled with the magic of rain and the joy of discovery. Later that night, as Lily lay in bed listening to the soft patter of rain outside her window, she thought about everything she had learned. She knew that even though the rain might come and go, its magic would always be with her. And whenever she felt sad or lonely, she would remember the rain cloud's symphony, the sparkle of raindrops, and the feeling of Freddy's slimy hug. Lily closed her eyes, a contented smile on her face. She drifted off to sleep, her heart full of rainbows. The End <laughs>